हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑफ इलेवेंथ क्लास इकोनॉमिक्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर आर चैप्टर नंबर वन इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट मीनिंग ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एंड टू टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटीज विच वर इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज एंड नॉन इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन स्टेटिस्टिक्स वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ स्टेटिस्टिक्स इट्स करेक्टरिस्टिक्स its features and its importance in real life so we'll be starting with a topic by knowing its meaning the first one is statistics in economics the word statistics convey different meaning to different people some people regard statistics as data facts or measurement while other people believe it to be the study of figures meaning of statistics it can be explained in two senses the first one is plural sense and the second one is singular sense in plural sense it means collection of numerical facts or in singular sense it deals with collection presentation analysis and interpretation of quantitative information now definition of statistics according to bole statistics is numerical statement of facts in any department of inquiry placed in relation to each other now we are going to talk about features or characteristics of statistics the first one is aggregate of facts a single digit does not constitute statistics because no conclusion can be drawn from it it is only the aggregate number of the facts that is called as statistics for example there are 1000 students in our college it has no statistics in it because we don't have any concern with 1000 students in a college but if it is stated that there are 300 students in art stream 400 students in commerce stream and 300 students in science that means we are talking about statistics next feature is numerically expressed it is expressed in terms of numbers why because the term statistics itself means we are talking about facts figures or data qualitative aspects like small and big rich poor honesty modesty they cannot be called as statistics the next feature is it is affected by multiplicity of causes what does it mean it simply means that it is not affected by any single factor but is influenced by so many factors for example 10% rise in the prices may have been due to several causes like reduction in the supply or it may be due to the increase in demand the next most important feature is statistics is placed in relation to each other what does it mean it simply means that unless numericals have the quality of comparisons they cannot be called statistics for example it would be meaningless to compare height of a man with trees because they are heterogeneous so what i'm trying to explain you i'm just trying to explain you that in statistics we can compare different factors with each other with a little bit homogeneity of each other now the next aspect is statistics in plural sense according to crockston and cowden statistics may be defined as the collection presentation analysis and interpretation of numerical data now while talking about the meaning of statistics now we have discussed what is the meaning of statistics we all are very well aware about the meaning we all are aware about its characteristics or its features now the question arises why we are studying statistics or 
what is the importance of statistics in economics because it plays a very very crucial role in economics it cannot be isolated in economics it contributes a lot how we are going to explain it with the help of certain simple features or certain simple points the first one is quantitative expression of the problem for example in economy we know that different different kind of problems arises it may be poverty unemployment regional differences income inequality it may be any kind of problem the first task of an economist is to understand the magnitude through quantitative expressions like the percentage of unemployed people or the percentage of employed working force or the percentage of unemployed working population has been increased from 18% to 20%. So how we have got the data of 18% to 20%? It has been received with the usage of statistics only. The next most important part of the statistics is it helps in sectoral or intersectoral temporal comparisons. What does it mean? It simply means that usually and most of the time economists are interested in doing comparative analysis of different sectors of economy. For example, if we want to compare what is the number of unemployed people in the rural area or in the urban area. So in order to find out the comparison between rural people and the urban people, we need to focus about the information. Information in the form of quantitative expressions. For example, it may be like the unemployment in the rural area has been increased by 5% or unemployment in the urban area has been increased by 10%. So how we have got this data? It has become possible by using statistics only. The next most important part is it tries to explain the cause and effect relationship. Simply while talking about cause and effect relationship, it helps them to attempt an effective diagnosis of a problem and accordingly to suggest some effective remedies too. For example, if economists come to know that it is because of decline in demand the investment in the economy has tended to shrink what they can do they can just suggest the government to adopt such measures as would increase the level of demand in the economy so that means with the help of statistics only we have tried to find out the root cause of the problem and after finding out the root cause of the problem we are simply giving suggestions to the government that this is the remedy and by adopting this particular method the problem can be solved very easily and effectively. Economic forecasting. Now what we are talking about we are not talking about forecasting from astrological point of view rather we are talking about economic forecasting as we all are very well aware about the fact business is full of various risks and uncertainties and they correct and in this particular situation forecasting is essential to reduce uncertainties of business by using various tools and techniques of statistics it may be by using interpolation or by time series analysis or by using regression analysis we can do various kind of prediction which kind of predictions I am talking about? The predictions may be what would be the level of demand in the near future? What would be the level of supply in the coming weeks? So that type of forecasting is very essential in any kind of business. So it can be done by using statistics only. <coughs> the next one is formulation and testing of hypothesis. We can test hypothesis whether rise in railway fare will affect passengers or not it is the simple example various other examples of a real life can be tested and can be applied by adopting the technique of hypothesis of statistics 
Now, while talking about importance of statistics from the government point of view, how statistics has contributed its contribution for the government. Government collects largest amount of statistics for various purposes. The role of government has increased and requires much greater information in the form of numerical figures to fulfill welfare objectives. Popular statistics method like time series, index number, forecasting, demand analysis, they are extensively used in formulating economic policies. Now, importance in economics. No doubt, while talking about importance of statistics in our real life, while contribution of statistics towards government, now how statistics is particularly related to the economics, it can be explained. Most of the economic problems are capable of being expressed in numerical figures. For example, output of agriculture, prices, etc. Thus, we can say that study of various economic problem is essentially the one of the statistical nature. Formulation of economic laws, while talking about various laws, the most fundamental and the most important law is law of demand. What does it mean? It simply means that there is a negative relationship between prices and quantity demanded. When prices of a particular commodity is going to be increased, the quantity is going to be fall down. But how? It can be explained by using statistics. Next one is, it helps in understanding an economic problem. As we have explained earlier, like economic problem may be unemployment, poverty or it may be some another kind of issue. These kind of problems can be better understood by using statistics because statistics help us in finding out the exact picture and after knowing the exact picture, the remedies can be suggested. The next one is, it is very helpful in studying market structure. Then, it helps in establishing mathematical relationship between various variables. So, the relationship which is basically of mathematical nature, they can be explained, expressed and predictions can be made with the help of statistics only. Now, statistics is also playing a very important role in economic planning. At every stage of economic planning, there is a need of facts, figures and statistical methods. It may reveal certain crucial areas like increase in inflation. If we know that there is increase in inflation, what is the meaning of inflation? For you, basically in simple language, inflation simply means persistent rise in the prices of commodities. So, if we are very well aware that the price of the basic goods are increasing day by day, so that can be solved as well as remedies can be find out at the proper moment. Now, the importance of statistics in business. No doubt, statistics also play a very important role in business too. How? For example, if a person who wants to establish a new business unit, he must need to know various factors with before starting his business and the factors may be the like he wants to know what inputs he are going to use, what is the size of his market share, what amount of the turnover will be produced by his unit, all these answers are there in statistics only. And the another aspect is for estimating demand of the product. For example, if a producer wants to set up a business unit, he needs to know that what will be the demand of his commodity so that he can produce that much quantity of commodity in order to avoid wastages as well as shortages. The next one is for production planning. It is one of the most crucial aspect in any business unit that they need to plan their production beforehand so that any kind of shortages, any kind of surpluses may be avoided. So, it can be done by using statistics only. For making quality control, like preparation of control charts can also be done with the help of statistics. Now, 
while talking about importance of statistics because we know that each and every coin is having their both aspects. So statistics is also not free from that as it is having various advantages. There are certain limitations which are there in statistics. The first limitation of statistics is it is the study of numerical facts only. How? Because it is concerned with the study of facts, figures and data itself. It does not study honesty, friendship, modesty, big, small. All these issues are not concerned in statistics. The next one is it is the study of aggregates only. It does not study any particular unit like if income of Mr. Ram is rupees 2000, it has no relevance in statistics. But if I say that income of Ram is 2000, income of Mohan is 4000 and income of Raju is 6000, then it makes a sense in terms of relative income. The next limitation of statistics is homogeneity is an essential requirement. To compare data, it must be uniform in quality. Production of food grain cannot be compared with production of cloth. That means if we want to compare two commodities, they must be homogeneous with each other. The next one is results are true on an average. They expect only tendency. They are not always valid in all the conditions. For example, if I say per capita income of India is 18,000 rupees per annum, it does not mean that it is the income of each and every person of India because it is just an average that is showing us a tendency only. The next one is it can be used by experts only. Statistics can be used by experts who have good knowledge of it. Data in hands of not qualified person is like a medicine in hands of quack who may abuse it out of ignorance and it may lead to dangerous consequences. The next limitation is prone to misuse. It is like a clay by which you may make God or devil as you please. So definitely it needs to be used by experts only. So in conclusion or in nutshell, Today, we have talked about meaning of statistics, its characteristics, importance of statistics for a businessman, for government, in economics, and so many aspects. So, it can be summarized as, in today's life, we use statistics to analyze serious problems like rising prices, population, unemployment, and so many others. It also helps us in evaluating impact of such policies in solving economic problems. So that will be all for the today's session. Thank you so much. In the meanwhile, enjoy reading. Thank you.